the job of the pastor is to tell you what thus said the Lord. And so a lot of people say, you know, uh, how he going to tell me about children and he don't have any. And you know, I got my goddaughter, but you said, well, he don't have no biological kids. And, and how he going to tell me something? And I submit to you that uh, Oprah don't have none. And everything she say, you listen. Come on, say amen, somebody. Dr. Roof don't have no children. So I want y'all to understand that, that the job as pastor is not to have none. It's to be able to tell you what the Lord said about anybody having some. Come on, say amen, somebody. Proverbs 22 and 6, King James Version, uh, it tells us through the word, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. It's not your job as a parent to say, this is just a different generation. You just, you, just, you just can't raise them like you was raised. I don't think nobody got beat down like I got beat down. I know that's why the Lord called me early. Because, boy, my grandma whooped my tail. Go take a Kool-Aid break. Get her some cherry Kool-Aid. Calm down and come and whoop again. And I, I know, you know, you know, but, 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 but is there anybody here, I might be wrong, anybody here that, that had a child in their family that died because they got a whooping? Okay. <laughs> Amen. So what did the Lord say? Ephesians 6 and 4. You, what you train them up in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord, not the culture. Because the culture is going to change. And we're not supposed to conform to culture. We're supposed to be transformed. Do I have any Bible readers up in here? Then Proverbs 13, 24. Now I know the kids, y'all going to kind of hate me, but I'm just in the word. I'm just in the word. And, and, and if you don't do nothing, you won't need to have these consequences. Say amen, somebody. But Proverbs 13, 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. Now, now you got to tap the Johnny. You got to tap the Sequisha. Because if you don't tap them now, they'll be tapping you later. Now the Bible says, I mean, Bible is just straight. It said, if you spare, you hate them. So now I understand, because I, I, I used to have a problem with that. I, I'm just doing this because I love you. But why don't you get over here on, on, my, on my lap let me love you. Now, Stan, I couldn't say that publicly, but, you know, I'm pretty sure all of us had some private thoughts that if they came out, we wouldn't be here today. I'm just doing this because I love you. I didn't understand that. But when I go to the word of God, and the word of God said if you spare it, you hate them, but if you love them, you chastise them. You wonder why kids are so out of control because you're scared to say something to them. The Bible never told them to train you up. It said for you to train them up. And, and quit going out here lying on God. Talking about your, your kid just terrible, they just horrible, and y'all just pray for me, church, because that's my cross. That is not your cross. Your cross is when you're persecuted for his sake. That's your crop. That's your crop because, see, when he, when he was cussing at two, you thought it was cute. Girl, Johnny at the family reunion, she told him to shut the mouth up. And you thought that was cute. Say it again, Johnny. Say it again. Shut them up. Come on, say amen, somebody. So that ain't your cross. That's your crop. Because when little Chucky was a seed, when little Chucky, Chucky was a seed, you let Chucky run all over the house. You let Chuck and Nisha run all over the house. And then one day Chucky grew up. And now Chucky ran in your house. Preach, Pastor, you got to preach all by yourself. Oh, look at this. Another scarier piece of advice. I hope y'all look listening to the parenting advice. Proverbs 23, 13, and 14. Withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. Okay, 2019, 2019, PWD, PWDB paraphrase. If thou whoopeth that tail. <laughs> he or she 
will beeth all right. And it will keepeth thee out of jail. Preach, Pastor, you got to all by yourself. That's 2019. That's 2019. If thou whoopest that tail. Come on, say amen, somebody. He or she will beeth all right. And it will keepeth thee out of jail. If you don't tap them now, they'll whip you later. I remember one time I had a young man about 13 or 14. He got upset with his mother and threw her into the china cabinet. And, uh, and asked him what was the problem. He said, uh, she just made him mad. Just made. I had a young man here not too, many, not, not too long ago. He said, uh, Pastor, my, my mama going to make me do something to her. She's going to make me put some on her. And look at it, uh, uh, Cody. It pushed his mama into the china cabinet and uh, said, let me talk to him. And then, now, now get me that. You done got pushed in the china cabinet. You feel that you need to call me. And then, Pastor, what you going to do? You, you're not going to be too hard. I need you to step out. Because there's some stuff you're not going to understand. Now, now, I need you to go on over to the conference room, take you a seat. Because I had to take the young man and had him up against the wall with my hand around his neck. And if you ever put your hands on your mama, my mama, his mama, her mama, anybody's mama, it's going to be on and popping. Never had another trouble. So you got to understand as a parent, that's why you get your bluff in early. Do, do I have any old school folk that, 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 that know mama could be in church and we be cutting up? She just look at us. Boy, when you got that look. Yeah, Kim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kim, you get in the car. I got something for you. Ain't a Milky Way, ain't a payday. Come on, say amen, somebody. Come on, say amen, somebody. Amen. But that's because you knew. And then you was good the rest of the service. Because you was in prayer and meditation. You were fasting because, you know, something only come by fasting and prayer. And, and you said, Lord, give mama a memory block. Please don't let her remember. I wish I had some help up in here. Lord, help me. Y'all know about it. Some of y'all, some of y'all hair rolling your head right there. Ooh, yeah, I remember that look, girl. I remember that look. Come on, say it, man, somebody. Right now, you got to, uh, 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 they, they, they clown you in public. And so now you got to take them in the bathroom, take them in the stall, and then you got to sit on the toilet and tell little Johnny why he shouldn't have clowned you. Now, little Johnny, that wasn't nice. You made mother look very bad. That's embarrassing, though. No. Now, I don't want you to do that anymore, little Johnny. Johnny, you said you made mother look bad. Now, they said, thank you. Now, 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 if you tap them, uh, Cody, uh, uh, they'll be emotionally discombobulated. No. Old school, wherever you clown, that's where you went down. You clown mama in toys, you died in toys. You clown mama in frozen food, you died in frozen food. You clown mama, come on, I wish I had some help. Mama like, you didn't embarrass me privately, and I ain't going to whoop that tail privately. Because I want to send a message to you and every child up in Sears. Can I get some help? Because y'all know when you got to the store, Mama already told you, now when we get out of this car, don't you be running all around this store. All of a sudden, boy, you see the toys over there? They take off. Okay. <laughs> Lord, help me. Now, now, there's another thing, there's another thing that your crop, that means you allowed that seed to be sown. So it matured and it sprouted up, and as it grew more and more, it was watered by you not checking it. That's what provided the nutrients. I mean, the Bible talks about don't provoke them to wrath. Don't, don't provoke the child to wrath. Uh, uh, let me give you a good uh, uh, situation of provocation, provoking a child of wrath. Uh, when you confuse them about the relationship, you, you, 
you play fight with them. Come on, come on, let's box. Come on, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and so you, you play fight. So they think that's okay. They don't know you never raise your hand at a parent unless you don't like it. So y'all. <laughs> So, so, so that, that's why I don't, I don't play fight with your child because I, I, I hit back. And so you provoke them to wrath because you play fight with them at home and then when they smack the crap out of you in front of all of us, then you want to whoop them. No, they think it's okay because we play fight at home. Mama, I just punched your nose because that's what we do. You got to train them up. You don't never raise your hand at me for nothing. Come on, say it, man, somebody. Somebody got quiet because they didn't allow it to happen. But uh, uh, no, uh-uh, play feet. Uh, uh, and the other thing is that uh, uh, you will be their friend one day, but not when they're young. And your child is not your BFF. Come on, say it, man, somebody. When you are a peer instead of a parent, you provoke them to wrath. Because I, I know, you know, uh, 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 once again, you got to understand, uh, uh, train them up. Whenever you get done, they are a kid. Come on, say amen, somebody. Training them up is not giving them an opinion. Well, you know, I just like my kids to speak their mind, and, and I like to give them an opinion. And then when they speak their mind at the wrong time, you want to kill them. No, 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 no. First Corinthians 13, 11, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man and grew up, it was then. Come on, say it, man, somebody. So a child needs to stay in a child's place. And when you allow them to be out of place, you the disgrace. Because the Bible says that when a child clowns, it shameth the mother. That's the book. It don't say nothing. I don't know where daddy was when they wrote that. It said they shame the mother. Have you ever been somewhere and a child just cutting up, cutting up? Oh, God, they're cutting up, they're cutting up, cutting up, cutting up. And then after a while, you say, where they mama at? Where they mama at? Because they know that you got to be doing something wrong as a mama. That they ain't got it yet. Man, you couldn't pay me to clown my mama in public. I mean, uh, uh, I, I, I believe that, Dr. Watts, I died one time. I ain't going to die no more. I died one time. Don't want to die no more. Say amen, somebody. So, 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 you know, uh, uh, people say that, and parents, you're out of order. Uh, uh, you listen to Dr. Ruth and Oprah because you value the source. And your pastor is the spiritual source. Uh, 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 how are you going to tell me uh, uh, about a wife loving a husband? How are you going to tell me and, uh, and, 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 and he don't get nothing? And, and then you say, it's just me. I ain't trying to say nothing against pastor. It's just me. Because pastor don't have no baby's mamas. He don't have no illegitimate children. He don't have no reputation to run in the streets. He represents you 24-7. So he ain't out of order. But some people be like, uh, Reverend Scott, they be like, it's just me. I just prefer somebody with experience. Well, Elizabeth Taylor had plenty of experience. Come on, say amen, somebody. She had seven husbands and eight marriages because she married one of them twice. Come on, say amen, somebody. Yeah, she married Richard Burton twice. So you're talking about, I just want a pastor, got some experience. Elizabeth, she got experience. Do, are you going to listen to her? Would you rather have experience or example? Okay. Lord, help me, Jesus. But as the pastor, I simply go to the manual and tell you what the word says in Ephesians 5, 25. Love her as Christ loved the church, and he gave himself for her. You got to love her like Christ. How did, how did Christ love the church? He died for the church. And so you got to be willing to die for that woman. Come on, say amen, somebody. If, 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 if you ain't ready to die for her, then you need to leave it alone. If you got to think about it, you need to leave it alone. If you got to look at the insurance policy, look at the, come on, say amen, you need to leave that alone. Tell you what the word says. 
And then people always, you know, they, they, they say, uh, 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 you know, you, you'll call 